so we are at week two of the slick stick weekly challenge and uh, building on from last week's yardsticks we're gonna go into the drag so this means we're gonna do the left to right drag so go left and then go right and then the right to left drag so right and then left um, yardstick was a key basic to um, help us because it's a real good one to have in your skill infantry because it means that you can build on it and basically what we're going to do now is add a bit of I guess mobility to that left to right, um, the yardstick so we're going to do the yardstick but now we're going to be doing it on the move so as we're dribbling we can go and dribble and it's a real key uh, skill because it will help you um, adjust your positioning get you in a better position on the field and also it's really advantageous to be able to help you uh, beat a defender so real good skill the left to right drag and the right to left uh, drag so that's what we're doing today key point so remember the power position of hockey so that hucker position so that way if you have your knees bent the ball is going to be out in front of you a bit more and that means you can see the ball and you're going to be able to see the uh, surrounding the fence or setups or whatever so that means you'll be better to make that um, drag so that comes into the next um, points so basically there's three really important factors so the timing of the drag the execution obviously of the drag and um, going the right way so if you have the ball out front you got good vision that means you'll be better to make that good timing and going the right way because one if the ball the, play, the fence like 20 meters away and you make a drag it's not going to do anything because they're ages away it's not really going to help you too much uh, two, going the right way. So if the defender has their stick right there and you just go drag into their stick, that's going the wrong way and it's not going to help you. So you're going to make sure that you're seeing where the setup is so that you can go the right way away from their stick. Um, the other one is the execution. So obviously if you don't even pull off the drag, it's not going to help too much. So you have to make sure that you get that nice good drag. That's why practicing those yardsticks are a really good fundamental skill to help you get those drags going. Um, one other key point that I want to look on to is um, quick movements are good, but um, we want to practice doing some big movements, so big strong movements. So if you're doing the left to right, you want to be going a nice and big drag. And then from there you can work on getting quick movement. Because um, the other thing is don't be afraid of making errors, because if you don't test your limits, you're not probably going to get uh, much better. So once you've got those big movements, practice on trying to get them faster. So even if you stuff up and you go, and the ball just goes off your stick and you lose it, that's all right, because what we want to practice on is just getting a bit better, and if you don't test those limits, you're not going to be able to increase that speed as much, so that's all good to try that. Um, depending on the setup of the um, defence, you might want to either even like go slightly forward or slightly backwards, so I've been mainly practicing just going like that, but if the defender's quite good, you might want to pull the ball back and go, and then around him. Or, Another one is going forward, so my friend uh, Sam, Sandeep, he's um, from, from India and he's really good at um, doing these and he'll dribble, dribble and he'll see that your foot is sticking out and he'll go into that foot really fast. So the left to right can actually be a really good attacking movement to get onto that player's foot, especially if you're in the circle and uh, award your team a PC. So yeah, see what you guys can do and give it yep. a go. And then if we try to go the left to right, we can also try to throw in that extra body thing. So for games that you can try, firstly there's a progression from last week's uh, yard stick challenges. So what you can do is um, the same thing as the one where they had the soft toys thrown at you or the balls rolled at you. You are walking forward and dribbling forward this time. And you just have to dodge those incoming missiles. That and basically you have to keep yard, uh, doing those drags until you get to um, the point where uh, a certain line or wherever the person's uh, rolling the balls at you or throwing the toys at from and um, yeah, see if you can get all the way there without losing control of the ball. Another game that you can try is uh, minefield. So basically it's an obstacle course. So I've set it up with cones and balls and whatnot. Uh, you can set it up with whatever you have. So just whatever you have lying at home, just put it on the floor, make it a real random setup so that way you're testing your limits because you're not going to predetermine how you're going to uh, drill past it. You're going to get up and you're going to have to have that vision, see a cone or drag around it, see another cone or drag another way around and it just basically means that you're going to have to uh, just have that good vision that we've talked about and do it to get through. So yeah, I'm going to give this a go.
hashtag my time to prime.